in a little bundle, like a little baby yogurt baby. This week, our special ingredient for 20 years of Ottolenghi is labneh. Um, labne is a strange yogurt. At Ottolenghi, we use labneh in lots of different ways. Um, probably most commonly, we'll put it on the base of a plate and then pile some vegetables or a salad on top of it and use it as a base. But we also use it a lot as a dip. It's part of a meze plate. You could put some um, confit tomatoes over the top. It's so versatile. It's just this a lovely, acidic, tangy, creamy base that you can build upon. So one of the byproducts of making labna at home is you'll be left with all this delicious whey at the um, bottom of your bowl. Whey is so, so flavorful. You can use it in things like ferments, just add whey, water and salt to tomatoes or any vegetable that you want to pickle and it will be so, so delicious. Or you can reduce it down in a pan, just keep reducing it on a really low heat and you can make it, it turns into a kind of caramel. You may feel intimidated by seeing people hanging lab name contraptions in their fridge. I'm going to show you a very, very simple way of doing it. It just takes about a minute or two um, and it's a really great, easy, quick way to prepare lab at home. Okay, so as you know, the focus this week is labneh and we're going to make a delicious dish of grilled asparagus, labneh, brown butter and burnt lemon and it's a dish from Extra Good Things. So the first thing we need to do is make the labneh. I've mixed some yogurt with a little bit of salt in a bowl and I've put it into here, which is a bowl with a sieve, a kitchen towel, my yogurt goes inside there, wrap it all up and then I put a weight over the top. I've used a kind of pestle and mortar, but you can use tins or a heavy plate or anything that's just gonna put a little bit of weight on to start pushing the whey out. You can see I've just done it and already some of the whey is coming out. So for enough whey to come out, you're gonna have to leave this overnight. So I've done one yesterday and you can see there's loads of whey in the bowl. And if I unwrap our little parcel, the whole cloth is quite wet with whey as well. I've got this lovely thick, set yogurt. So this labneh is going to be the base of my dish and I can place my labneh into the bowl. So there's already some salt in here. I just want to season it with a little bit of um, grated garlic. So I'm going to add that in and give it a nice mix together. You can see it's really nice and firm but also very like silky, smooth consistency. So I'm just gonna set this aside for later. So next up, I'm going to make the burnt lemon. Okay, so I preheated my oven to 220 degrees and I'm just gonna peel this lemon. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit of pith on. And I'm gonna take two or three pieces which I'm going to julienne and that's going to be part of our garnish. The rest just scatter on the tray and then we're going to put it into the oven to roast. Wow, they smell amazing. It's kind of like one of those <laughs> lemon room sprays. <laughs> Honestly, it like it smells like artificial. It's so strong. Um, okay, so this is our burnt lemon. I'm just gonna put over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna transfer these carefully. Be careful because the tray is still gonna be hot. Into a pestle and mortar, and just. Break them up, such a satisfying sound. Okay, so once you've ground it into a nice powder, just want to transfer it into a little bowl through a sieve because there might be some little bits that have stuck in there. So I'm just going to pour this in. Yep. 
and there's my finished black lemon powder. So I'm just gonna julienne these um, lemon peels and just try and slice them as thinly as you can. That's gonna be our garnish for later. And I'm just gonna segment one of the two lemons that I peeled. So I'm gonna top and tail it. And then I'm just gonna run my knife around the edge of the lemon. Turning it as I go. Until all of the pith is removed. Next up, I just want to take the segments. So you can see there are lots of segments here. I put my knife just to the edge of the pith and go down to the center. And then I do the same on the other side. And the segment should come out nicely. Do that all the way around the lemon. So you definitely want to use a serrated knife for this. Otherwise, you're going to struggle. Um, it just makes it extremely easy to cut and also Acid does tend to blunt knives, so you definitely don't want to be using your best knife to do this job. I'm just going to cut these into little segmenting segments. Two or three cuts per lemon. Just trying to make little kind of bite-sized pieces that are going to burst, little bursts of lemony joy. And we'll use those in a little set. I'm just going to prep the asparagus. I want to take the woody kind of yellowy ends off um, about this much. And then I'm just going to put these in a tray and season them with a little bit of olive oil and some salt. Great. When we present this dish, we're going to have all of the asparagus pointing the same direction. So just keep that in mind. And it's good to kind of try and keep them pointing the same direction all the time so you don't have to fiddle around at the end. Great, so they're nicely seasoned. I'm just going to transfer them onto a baking sheet. Spread them out nicely, ready to go in the oven. I've put it up to the highest grill setting and I'm going to put my asparagus in to grill. Depending on the size of your asparagus, that could take from like 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to check after six and see how they're getting along. So now's the time to make the brown butter. Ooh. Um, I've brought my pan up to heat on a medium heat uh, with the butter inside. You can see the solids have started to separate out. I'm just going to keep cooking, but keeping an eye on it. The solids are going to start browning off and it's gonna have a lovely, toasty, buttery, biscuity aroma to it. Just starting to turn. Okay, so the butter has browned and it is looking and smelling amazing. I'm just gonna add the thyme, which might cause a little fizz. Well. Amazing. Oh my God, that smells incredible. Super fragrant the second that it's gone in. Next, I'm gonna go in with my sugar. And the black lemon powder from earlier. And about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So normally I would be very worried if my <laughs> brown butter looked like this, but because we've got the black lemon peel, it's fine. It smells incredible. <laughs> it smells so, so good. I'm just going to leave this to cool for about five minutes before we add our extra bits to it. Mm, lovely. Okay, so just taking my asparagus out. They're beautifully browned, crispy, delicious, ready to be soaked in loads of butter. Great, so now this is rested for about five minutes. It's cool enough to add my lemon segments. I'm just going to put them in here. And I've measured out four teaspoons of lemon juice from the other lemon that we didn't segment. I'm just going to give that a nice stir. 
just release any of the solids that are stuck to the bottom of the pan. Oh my God, it already looks so amazing. Great, so I'm ready to plate. I've just got a nice big round uh, lip serving platter. I'm gonna grab my labna, and this is gonna be the base of my dish. I'm just creating that kind of labna bed that we talked about earlier to pile my asparagus on top of. I'm gonna grab my asparagus. And just start, oh my God, so beautiful. And now for this amazing burnt lemon brown butter. I'm just gonna pour this over. All asparagus deserve to have butter and lemon. Great, so it's looking amazing, almost ready. Just gonna sprinkle over these julienne pieces of lemon. Not sure I'm gonna use all of them, I think that's probably enough. And then, got a little bit more pick time over the top. And finish off with another little sprinkle of that black lemon powder. And there we have our grilled asparagus with labneh, brown butter and burnt lemon. Mmm, that looks mm. delicious. It really does. Oh, look at that butter. I know. Thank you so much, Katya. Mmm, oh my god. It is so good. It's epic. It's so, so good. It just works so well, right? Like, yeah. the... A kind of fatty, sour butter. It's like the layers of fat, but because you've got all of the different... <laughs> it is layers of fat! You've got the butter. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Extra good things. Extra good things. Have we mentioned that? I think we have now. This was wonderful. Thank you for sharing Thank it with you. me. Thank you. Done? Mm. I'm back to work. Okay. <laughs>